Hello, I just wanted to make a quick uh, video uh, detailing uh, just one aspect of the sorts of discrimination which um, atheists uh, have to put up with. And um, I'm just going to uh, read a few things um, out of the United States Constitution. Um, Article 6, Clause 3. No religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. Um, just one of the ways in which uh, the founders of the United States uh, were trying to create a secular state, which um, a couple hundred years ago... Uh, was sort of a new idea. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, religious extremists um, were not happy with the idea of a secular state. Uh, uh, quite a few of the states have their own constitutions, and um, they were very specific, uh, some of them in ways in which they would like to discriminate against uh, people who believed differently than they do. Uh, for example, the Arkansas State Constitution, uh, it is written, no person who denies the being of a god shall hold any office in the civil departments of this state nor be competent to testify as a witness in any court. Uh, Maryland's uh, Declaration of Rights, uh, Article 36, states that as it is the duty of every man to worship God in such manner as he thinks most acceptable, all persons are equally entitled to protection of their religious liberty. Um, blah, 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 blah. A lot of stuff. Uh, including, nor shall any person be deemed incompetent as a witness, juror, or on account of his religious belief, provided he believes in the existence of God. Uh, so basically it enumerates all the rights that uh, people should have, um, unless you're an atheist. Uh, Massachusetts State Constitution, Article 3. Every denomination of Christians, as good subjects of the commonwealth shall be equally under the protection of the law. Uh, so, specifically Christians, so uh, not even just uh, atheists, but um, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, what have you, are, I guess, uh, considered not to have the equal protection of law. Uh, Mississippi State Constitution, Article 14. Uh, no person who denies the existence of a supreme being shall hold any office in this state. North Carolina State Constitution. Under disqualifications of office, the following person shall be disqualified for office. First, any person who shall deny the being of Almighty God. The first thing, to the atheists. Pennsylvania State Constitution, no person who acknowledges the being of a god and a future state of rewards and punishments shall on account of his religious sentiments be disqualified to hold any office or place of trust un or profit under this commonwealth. The implication being that those who do not acknowledge the being of a god um, will be disqualified South Carolina State Constitution, no person shall be eligible to occupy the office of governor who denies the existence of the supreme being. Lieutenant governor has the same uh, religious test. Tennessee State Constitution states that no person who denies the being of God or of a future state of rewards and punishments shall hold any office in the civil department of this state. Texas State Constitution, Article 1, Section 4. No religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust in the state, nor shall anyone be excluded from holding office on account of his religious sentiments, provided he acknowledge the existence of a supreme being. 
So, um, in the United States, there's uh, laws against atheists discriminating against them um, are on the books. Um, and this is just one of the sorts of things which um, atheists have to deal with. So, uh, if you feel like uh, atheists don't have anything to gripe about, um, you might want to do a little investigating and maybe you'll find that um, there actually is some things to worry about. That's it.